Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to a sold-out boardwalk hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey for tonight's main event. Ten rounds of middleweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. Brooks is so attentive when it comes to this moment here. This is where everything he's done, all the hard work he's put in, comes down to one singular moment of concentration. Black Mamba's entrance here. What a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. Introducing first, by, by way of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Lampo Brooks. His adversary, Black Mamba. All right, gentlemen. Protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Remember. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. That's it. That's it. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Come on, get busted. Left hook's well off the mark that time. Blocking a score. What an excellent two-punch combo by left hook. A well-placed gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Left hook's punch didn't come close. Keep your head moving. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what did you try to cement into his head? The one thing that I had told him is something I had to tell myself, is that we had options. The first was, of course, the traditional way. Tuck up good defensively, move your head, and work your way in. Slip a punch, and now all of a sudden you're closer. You take his height away. The other is to step up and get sort of enticed a taller fighter to come in and be short. A hammering hook by left hook. A stabbing right hand comes in by left hook. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Very nice work there. Jab, uppercut. He was waiting for his opponent. Just waiting for an opportunity, and he found it. The counterpunch by Brooks. Finish with the hook. It's easy. It's there. Just look. Here we go. Round two is underway. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Brooks. Left hooks putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Good block by Black Mamba. Don't walk in his 
Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Brooks's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Look at that combination by Brooks. Uppercut! Uppercut! Left hook scoring with one of the most effective punches there is. Landing an uppercut on the inside. Well, it's the right punch for the right place. The hands up of his opponent, but there's an opening right up that middle. Split the guard, and the punch is the uppercut. That's the ticket, and he's going with it. Good job on the two-punch combo by Black Mamba. <laughs> Missed the body shot. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Black Mamba's so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. All right, listen, you need to create more counters, okay? And round number three is underway. You're still not moving enough. Move, move. Brooks is showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Black Mamba. Keep going. Nice combination. Jab, uppercut to the head. Try to go downstairs, but off target. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Brooks is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. Left hook's movement helped out there. He avoided that punch. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Black Mamba's landed a good, solid combination. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Jump on him. Nice. Side to side. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Brooks. Left hook's Come got on. that one Get gift that we have seen win time and time again, and that is pure speed. He's got it every which way. Yeah, he's putting those punches together. There's one way that you have to combat speed, and that's not trying to match it, and that's controlling distance and using timing. That's what his opponent needs to do now. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Just keep working and this is your fight. Don't get lazy out there, all right? Don't get lazy. The winning is fight. As we start round number four, not a lot separating these guys. Sometimes you can steal a round or two just by being the busier guy. Yeah, it reminds me a little bit about those legendary stories the old-timers used to tell me about Rocky Marciano. You know, they used to say that he used to hit the guy's arms. You know, he wasn't scoring clean, but he was keeping his opponent from scoring back. And then later in the fight, he was disabling his opponent from coming back. That's a forceful two-punch combo by left hook. Solid straight right hand. Nothing there on the punch by left hook. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Good accuracy with that uppercut.
He has found his groove with this right hand. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Brooks is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Come on, kid. Focus. Left hook's able to avoid that punch. Good, solid shots with the combo downstairs. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Lance flush with the two-punch combo by Brooks. Black Mamba's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Brooks is giving his opponent headaches here now. He's throwing punches, but he's able to block them away. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Protecting his head well with his guard. That's what I'm doing great. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by left hook. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Keep working the body. Halfway into round number five Double here. Up on your punches. Come on, get fucked. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nice block by Black Mamba. Go, go. He scored well after being hit himself. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Coming to the end of round number five, last ten seconds. Digs in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Left hook's corner has been in positions like this with other fighters. And sometimes it doesn't go your way. You get a moment to gather yourself here. You're leading on the scorecards, but you still have to stand up and deliver. One, two. And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Really frustrating his opponent now. Brooks is so defensively sound, it doesn't make for an easy target. No, it doesn't. And it makes for a very frustrating night for his opponent. I see his opponent now, if you notice, he's getting a little tentative. He's afraid to let the punches go because when he misses, he's worried he's going to leave an opening. Well-targeted two-punch combo by Brooks. He just missed that shot up top. You got this one! Black Mamba's doing well here with that two-punch combination. There you go! Reaching the halfway point of round number six. You're not focusing. Keep working the body. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. What? Two snapping jabs by Black Mamba. That was nice. He just drew the punch from his opponent and then a good counter by left hook. Yeah, like running through the rain without getting wet. Beautiful. 
Black Mamba's wanting to counter punch here. But that doesn't seem the route to go here in this fight, Teddy. No, he has to be honest with himself and see that. But, you know, people under pressure in all walks of life, you know, in the rings especially, you see it right away. You, you kind of peek at it right away. It's obvious. Maybe, maybe he doesn't want to see what he has to see because then he would have to discipline himself. He's not ready to do that. Then he would have to make the change. Maybe he just wants to leave it this way. At the end of the day, people are going to say, oh, that guy fought kind of fight that, you know, hard to fight with, you know, and he has an excuse. Maybe that's what's going on right now. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Black Mamba. Head movement! Head movement! Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He needs to improve that accuracy. Oh, Missed with the headshot. Another right hand comes in. Inside, inside. Not precise at all by Brooks. Halfway through the seventh round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by left hook. And now he's targeting upstairs. He committed to the jab, and then he brought home the bacon with the uppercut. Well done. Brooks's blocking ability is doing well for him there. And he's marking that target right above the belt line. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. And this round comes to an end. You can't catch you, right? Combinations in and out. Left hooks leading on your scorecard as we start round number eight, Teddy. But there is some doubt here. Only a few rounds remain. Yeah, don't forget now in the other corner what's going on. We're just looking at one side here, Joe. But in the other corner, they're very aware of what's going on. They're behind. They're telling their guy, get after him. So it's not going to be enough to just stay status quo. This guy better be ready to lift up his concentration a little. Jab, uppercut, both upstairs. Left hooks doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Brooks is putting forth a great combination there. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Not able to land the headshot. Keep doing what you're doing. Left hooks putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Yeah, oh, and he's got something work. for him himself, and it's a left hand. He nice. got hit, but he sends it right back. Left jam. hook's combination punching is working well here. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Keep pushing. Brooks's corner knows that their fighter still has much more to do. 
You cannot just sit back and be content on the stool, securing a lead. You have to go out and earn a win. Left hook's ability to utilize this jab, fighting on the outside, has been so critical in what we've seen on the scorecard so far. Why so, Teddy? Because it's not a common jab. You know, he reminds me, believe it or not, of Hector Camacho, the former junior lightweight champion, because he throws a trip hammer jab. You know, usually you turn that jab over, you know, counterclockwise, but he doesn't turn it over. He just drops it down. It just drops straight down. There's no warning. And boy, it's been landing. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Black Mamba. <laughs> Takes one, but gives one. Good work by left hook. Halfway through the ninth round, Brooks is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Hooks on the inside. Left hooks crushed by a big right hand. Stunned, but all of a sudden now, oh! He just fought the other guy's fight, and now it's not his fight at all. He is down. No, he should have been on the inside. He pulled out, pulled out into a world of trouble, a world of punches. One, two. Brooks is back up on his feet. Now, what will be interesting to see here is how he reacts in the next few moments. Throws out the jab, and then brings back the uppercut up top. Stay focused on the inside. Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head, and you tell him why he was dropped. Left hook's got to prove a few things here. Number one, he's got to prove to his opponent that he's on good ground after being knocked down in the last round. But he's also got to prove it to the referee, too. Yeah, he does. And his corner. Because his corner, I just noticed, they put that towel over their shoulder. So they know the condition their fight is in. They know their responsibility. And they're ready to act on it. Showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counterpunching. Halfway through this tenth and final round. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. A minute to go in the fight. Back to the body. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Move in. He's working the body. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Left hook's really making some boxing purists out there put a smile on their face because his defense has been stellar. I mean, so fundamentally sound. Yeah, well, that's why he always goes round, and that's why people think he has an iron chin. I don't know if he has an iron chin, because the chin never gets touched. He's a guy that's always going rounds because his defense is so good. Here's our ring announcer with the results of what was a very, very good fight. Brooks's work tonight was well rewarded. A unanimous decision win. Teddy, you saw it all along.